everyone, welcome to another story time video. This is Joseph part three. Joseph was second in command in Egypt and he was in charge of making sure that there would be enough food for everyone during the famine that was to come. For seven years there was plenty of food, just like Joseph said there would be, as God had told him in Pharaoh's dream. But then the famine started and all of the countries around Egypt didn't have enough food. But because God had told Joseph that this would happen, Joseph had ordered that people stored their food ready for when they needed it. So as soon as the famine came and there wasn't enough food, Joseph ordered that the storehouses should be opened and people from the surrounding countries all came to Egypt to buy food. Remember Jacob, Joseph's dad? He thought Joseph had been killed years ago by a wild animal when actually his brothers had sold him. But Jacob and his other sons, they were all hungry, really hungry. Jacob heard that Egypt had lots of food and so he told his sons to go there and to buy some grain. When they got to Egypt, they bowed down to Joseph, who was in charge of selling the grain, and they asked him if they could buy some. Joseph recognised them, but they didn't recognise him. He agreed to sell them some grain, but then spoke to one of his servants and told him to put his silver cup into the bag of his youngest brother's bag. His brother's name was Benjamin. When they had left Egypt and were on their way home, Joseph sent one of his servants after them to search them and he found the silver cup. You must come back to Egypt now, he said. This is my master's cup that you have stolen. The brothers couldn't believe it. How had the silver cup got into Benjamin's bag? They were taken back to Egypt and brought before Joseph. Please, we don't know how your silver cup got into Benjamin's bag. We didn't take it. Please believe us. Joseph looked at them and said, he must have stolen it from me because he has done that. He must stay here and he must be my slave. But the rest of you can go home. No, said his brothers. Please don't do that. If we go home without our brother, our father will be so, so sad. He will be heartbroken. He would die. Then Judah, one of the brothers, said, Please let Benjamin go home. Keep me as your slave instead. When Joseph heard that, he knew that his brothers had changed. He ordered everyone out of the room apart from his brothers and he cried as he said, I am Joseph, your brother, the one you sold into Egypt. His brothers couldn't believe it. This was Joseph. They all felt scared and, and they didn't know what to say. It's okay, said Joseph. What you did to me was horrible, but God has used what you did and has put me in this position so he can save us all from this awful famine. So it wasn't you who sent me here. It was God. Then Joseph hugged all of his brothers tight and they cried together. When Pharaoh heard what had happened, he told the brothers to load up everything they had and to go home to get their father Jacob and their families and to bring them back to Egypt where there was plenty of food for everyone and they could live there together. And Joseph thanked God for all he had done. I love the story of Joseph. He trusted God completely through everything and he knew that God was working through him. God kept Joseph safe and even though some really hard and bad things happened to him, God made things good again. So in your life when difficult things and bad things happen, just remember that God is with you. He's with you always. And he wants to help you and to guide you because he loves you. I'm just going to pray now if you want to pray with me. Thank you, God, that we can always trust you just like Joseph did. Thank you that we can always talk to you and that you are there for us no matter what. Even when life gets hard and difficult things happen, thank you that you will help us through it. Keep our eyes fixed on you. In Jesus' name. 
Amen.